Yo! <laughs> what is uh, up, everyone? It's your pup, Claire Fluffle here. And it's like... April 20th. It's, it's 420. Happy April 20th, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. This is a special day because... Because uh, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you like what you're seeing. I like curvy and speedrunning and curvy. Curvy's anniversary is in a week, but to start those celebrations early, seven days early, if you catch my drift, I was thinking, you know, like it's 420 and we're celebrating. And we're <laughs> high on life. <laughs> Wouldn't it be so good to make a video about the edible curvy games? Like, if I were to eat a curvy game right now, what are the odds that it would taste good or bad? Or some other third thing. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do today, everyone. We're gonna we're gonna look at the Kirby games and weed out the inedible ones. Oh, have you ever looked at all the pretty colors in life? Like, whoa. Okay, I think that's enough of that. Frankly, I saw an opportunity to make something on April 20th, and I wanted to go with it. I don't really have much of an idea for the rest of the video, but I guess if we're gonna talk about grass, and the word edible technically means if something is safe to eat or not, uh, let's roll with that. Now, let's relay it back to speedrunning with... Oh my god, how are we relaying this back to speedrunning? Um... <sighs> okay, I think I got it. We, we take every Kirby game with a level that has grass in the name, the originals only, no remakes, with one exception we'll get into later, we look at how quickly it takes the world record speedrun to get through and any percent for each and every one of these levels that have grass in it. And then for the edibility part, I, I don't know, I'll talk about it making an edible recipe in that time frame. Chef Puppy is here to help you with your meals. Just, just don't let me cook the meals for you. My, my tummy is so sugary sweet that I can't even handle basic things like pepper, taco sauce, or pepper jack cheese. Remember when I ate pepper jack cheese alive and this was my reaction? Oh, that sure was a, that sure was a pick. <coughs> oh, where's that? Oh, God, the spice kick. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I see what you mean by it has a bit of a spice. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh. <coughs> what I can handle, though, is saying a thank you to my patrons on Patreon. You can consider becoming a patron by checking out the description below for neat perks, including early access to videos such as this one. Special thanks go to my head padding Fluffle Fan patrons, Fio Hazard, the Serval that likes strawberry pop tarts, Lydia Scribe, and Vilafar. I love you all. As with everything in the world, we begin with Kirby's Dreamland. There's no area in Dreamland that has grass in the name, so we're done with Kirby's Dreamland. Dreamland 2, on the other hand, began this long-standing tradition with Grassland. And despite being a regular run, you get to experience some of NCA at the start. Now check out this video here if you're wondering what the heck NCA even means, but you see some cool things here, like jumping off slopes for speed, like this is adventure or something. Unfortunately for us, while later in the world we do get the opportunity to use Rick, we ignore him because he's not very good, put it nicely. Burning is right there, and with Kirby and Burning, Rick's got nothing to offer. Unlike this mysterious tree, who I have no idea who this is. Hmm, I have some theories. I think this might be Magalore because- OH MY GOD, IT'S WISPY! PLOT TWIST! <sighs> okay, to very briefly take this joke video way too seriously. 
the world record run for Kirby's Dream Land 2 has Wispy defeated at the 2 minute 25 second mark. Pretty fast, but that by itself is hardly conclusive. The split is officially marked at 2 minutes 34 seconds, since that's when the runner gets to Big Forest, hence when he decided to advance the split. Should we count this as a 234 then, or a 225? Have other runs done Grassland specifically faster than this one? And all of this information is all well and dandy for now, but what about when the world record inevitably gets topped? Will the Grassland split be faster or longer? At this point, my rambling is probably longer than the Grassland splits themselves, so we'll just go with whatever the world record splits say and move on. It's just easier that way, and it's what this video, frankly, deserves. <laughs> That said, with the weather getting warmer, you can make some tasty mint lemonade in the time it takes to get through KDL2 Grassland, if you have a mixer or blender. To keep the video from not being about Kirby, I'll just link to the recipes in the description and leave it there. But if you like mint, lemonade, and easy recipes, try it out while speedrunning Grassland in Kirby's Dream Land 2! Why am I doing this? Skipping ahead a couple years, we get to Kirby's Dream Land 3, which starts us off... in Grassland. <laughs> yep, told you this was a tradition. Unlike the previous Grassland, though, we don't soar into the sky after beating Wispy, who goes crazy in this game, until the 8.33 mark. Dreamland 3 is just a much beefier game with longer levels, especially the early game. You do get coup in the third level, which definitely helps, and you even get cleaning towards the end, which helps against Wispy, who goes crazy in this game. If you'd like a nice 8-minute recipe to go along with the thumb pain from running KDL3, try this pantry doll that you can even whip up in 7 minutes if you're quick enough. It does have a waiting time to let the food actually, you know, cook, but you don't have to do anything at that point. You can just stay in one spot like you're wispy. Who goes crazy in this game? Skipping the Nintendo 64, because who has 64 grass, Kirby Air Ride is the next game with grass. Literally, it's, 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 it's called Grats. And it's exclusive to Top Ride, a mode that I'm happy to champion because it's super underrated and frankly, it rules. The only problem is that we have two different any percents to choose from. 100 missions, your standard Top Ride any percent, or a simple all course clear run. The world record for the latter is only 16 seconds for Grats, while the former spends 131 seconds in Grass, or 2 minutes 11 seconds. Yes, I timed it exactly, even though most runners, not just world record, leave grass and have to come back to it later. WHY AM I TAKING THIS SO SERIOUSLY?! I feel like the bigger challenge here is finding an actual edible recipe that only takes 16 seconds, so we'll do that. I did find a tasty looking 16 bean soup recipe, but obviously that takes longer than 16 seconds. There's just a whole lot of beans! So instead of finding one, I made my own that I have deemed the Puppy Pectacular. And here is how you make it. You grab bread, grab some peanut butter, and put the peanut butter on the bread for 16 seconds. Bon appetit! For a bonus challenge, you can try opening the peanut butter and putting the actual food on the bread. It, it would taste a lot better that way, I'd at least imagine. Not too long after Air Ride is Canvas Curse, a game with largely no areas that have grass in their title. However, Canvas Curse is special, as it's one of the first Kirby games to have individual names for levels, not just worlds. And sure enough, the second level of the second world is named Growth Grasses. And in Wakaza's legendary any percent world record, we spend a minute and nine seconds growing our grasses. Oh wow, this really is related to 420, isn't it? <laughs> Throughout the whole level, there is never a need to get an ability, which once again goes to show how strong normal is in this game. I, I talk about that a lot. I'm not going to link to a specific video, but trust me. Potentially stronger, however, is the one minute vanilla mug cake you can literally microwave. I love vanilla. It's my single favorite of all the more basic flavors, so I will definitely be eating this one up. Before we move on, fun fact! Kirby Superstar Milky Way wishes there is a grass-themed planet called Floria. However, it's only ever referred to as Planet Floria. Well, that's a shame, but, you know, some Kirby games, they just don't care for edibility. We have to move on with a video this serious and important and... Wait a minute. Oh, 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 you know the best game ever made would rectify this issue. 
Yep, in Superstar Ultra, on the bottom screen, it is specifically referred to as Grass Planet Floria. And the world record spends 52 seconds there. Yeesh, I didn't make this easy for myself, did I? Oh, let's see, let's see, a 52 second recipe that's actually edible, hmm. Well, I, I found a YouTube channel that talks about food in 52 second intervals. You can't actually eat the channel, and it seems they haven't uploaded for a few years, but I don't know, it's something? Look, I didn't even think Super Star Ultra would have been here. Just cut me some slack so we can move on. Thankfully, we can knock two games out in one as we're involving a remake here that doesn't have grass content unseen in the original. Kirby's Epic Yarn brings back the fan-favorite grassland, but misses a huge piece of grassland lore. See, in Epic Yarn, the world record takes over 12 minutes to finish. 12 minutes! Double digits for a grassland? That is unheard of, at least for any percent. Well, I guess the game came out in 2010, so new decade, new grassland. This is actually the last grassland we're going to see, so be sure to share your favorite grassland memories in the comments. As for me, I'll be sharing another recipe! <laughs> that, that, that rhymed there, hoo hoo. Anyway, do you like pumpkin soup? I've never had, so I can't comment, but I found a 15 minute recipe that I am sure you can finish in 12 minutes instead. I don't know, pumpkins, the, the Halloween level that's in Epic Yarn, that's not even in Grassland. It, they all just fit together so, so well. Ugh, okay, this is where the nightmares come in. Yes, nightmares, plural. To start, Team Kirby Clash Deluxe has a Grasslands, but not a Grassland. Grassland is singular and two words, while Grasslands is plural and one word. I'm going to cry! Worse, at least for me, is that new bosses will appear throughout the game in older areas as you progress. And even though you might think that because this is any percent, we don't have to worry about it, this is also Team Kirby Clash Deluxe, which has stamina bars, a level system, armor that you have to buy, no microtransactions allowed because this is a speedrun. Help me! Yeah, I had a lot of tracking to do, and unlike every other game, you're not even seeing TKCD footage, just Super Kirby Clash. Sorry, this is the one game I literally have no way of recording. Just don't unhead tap me, please. But what I can record is that the world record run spends 1,029 seconds in Grassland, or a bit over 17 minutes. That's still not giving us much to work with for our recipes, unless you want to do that pumpkin soup one in the actual proper amount of time. So we'll say the edible recipe here is a slightly overcooked pumpkin soup. I am so smart. Hey, by the way, remember how I said I'm taking this way too seriously? Well, if I were to ask you to boot up Kirby Star Allies and find the level with grass in the name, you wouldn't be able to do it. It just doesn't exist, so don't even try. Well, you can. KSA is a fun game and all, but just don't do it expecting to find some hidden secret relating to the word grass. You'd just be wasting your time ending in intense sadness with strong emotional baggage. I am wasting your time here. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Except... What would you do if I were to tell you that there is something with grass in it, but not in Star Allies? So why are you talking about it, you dumb puppy? Listen! Listen! Kirby Star Allies has a demo, and in that demo, there are two levels. One of them is called Cave and Castle Siege, who cares? But the other one is called Grasslands. And it's the plural one word variety, so we don't even get our beloved back. For something actually surprising though, I was able to find a single speedrun of Grasslands specifically, with a time of 4 minutes 16 seconds from 6 years ago. I salute you, Mystery Runner. And by Mystery Runner, I mean they're all linked in the description, so go watch those. But what does a Mystery Runner imply? Why a mystery recipe, of course. And by, by that, I, I mean some chutney chicken. Looking at this recipe itself, it looks a lot faster, minus the wait time for it to actually cook, but yeah, what do I know? I'm just a puppy who, who loves to eat chicken. Wait a minute. So if Team Kirby Clash Deluxe has a grasslands, that sounds chromatically awful to say. <laughs> Super Kirby, ow, I just bit my tongue, ow. Super Kirby Clash must have one too, right? 
You may be wondering why I sound so happy given the nightmare that was keeping track of Clash Deluxe's grasslands. Well, dear viewers, for some reason, the first area of Super Kirby Clash was renamed to Seaside with the TKCD grasslands and the hub area, which is pretty cute, being relegated to the post game. Since we're looking at any percent here, no grasslands need to be covered. Our first any percent with an area that has grass in the name where you spend zero seconds in grass. You ain't touching grass, you guys. Uh, this is fantastic news to me. As for a zero second recipe, I don't know, just let somebody make a meal for you. It'll take them more than zero seconds, but for you, a zero second recipe, baby! I saw puppies do it, let's go! Last, but most certainly not least, comes Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Now, on the surface, you may look at downtown Grassland and think, Wow, our beloved Grassland is back after so many years! But no, just because the S is gone from the end, this is still an imposter. The world record spends 2 minutes and 54 seconds getting through downtown Grassland, and as with all things KFL, it's an absolute delight. The Gigant Edge mini boss is one of my favorite parts, but the singular highlight is always Turtle Skip. Or Turtle Skip Skip, as I call it, depending on which version of the skip you're going for. You do not, however, skip your recipes, so I'll mention this nifty vegetarian taco recipe I found that only takes three minutes to make. It sounds tasty, even if I don't like most of the vegetables that are actually in it. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well, that's what improvising is for, right? Speaking of improv... <laughs> Wow, why is this video still going? Does, does anybody care that much about a really dumb bun I turned an entire video into? I, I'd be surprised if you did. Thank you for watching this far if you have. I, uh, I don't really know how to end the video as I've never uh, indulged myself in any non-food or recipe related edible, shall we say? So I'll just say I've been Claire. Thank you all so much for watching and... Whoa, the pretty colors, man. They're back. I feel so alive. I feel like a puppy. <laughs>